welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well, and if not, you know, I hope there are better days ahead. <sighs> so I gotta come in and talk about this stalking ass nigga, and you know, what, what truly grinds my gears is that I be trying so hard not to stoop to these demons level. Cause that's all it is. They're fucking demons in disguise. Remember Brandy's song, Angels in Disguise? No, it's, it's more demons in disguise walking around this motherfucker. And because I had my defenses down, you know, I'd be attracting a lot of these demons, you know. I was getting off my spiritual journey a little bit. Wasn't wearing my protection um, necklaces and crystals and just all of the things that I used to do spiritually that kept certain entities and energies away from me or it just gave me more of a keen eye to recognize these spirits. Like I used to be able to see them, like see right through their, um, their avatar. I would be able to see through their avatar and it would allow me to make better judgments on who I allow in my space. And because I fell off a little bit spiritually and stopped doing a lot of the things that I used to do, it was just like the demons was just there. And then, like I said, I was smoking. So then it allowed me to um, shut off part of myself that allowed me to see these demons in disguise. But, but you know, we all fall victim to these demon energies and entities because they put up a good mask and so sometimes it's hard to see beyond the mask especially when you cloud it with alcohol and drugs it's hard it, it blocks part of your vision I'm not gonna say my vision was blocked completely because it's never blocked completely but my intuition was telling me that the person I'm about to expose was a fraud and was a scammer and wasn't about what he say he's about. And I gave him time to hang himself like I always do. <laughs> I give these demons time to hang themselves and they usually hang themselves within my awakened self. We're not gonna talk about before I became more spiritually in tune but while i'm spiritual while i've been spiritually in tune for the past six or seven years i have seen through these demons facades and it had even if it came to me in my dreams i would see it i would see past it and it would allow me to cut them off faster or sooner than i would have if i wasn't more spiritually aware and able to see through the mask and not get caught up in the facade that was placed on. But then get caught up on the facade and um, I didn't allow my emotions to control me to the point where as though I started to lose my way. Like I will always get my focus back and be like, oh, okay, well, or like I said, it'll come to me in a dream and then I'll see it. But what truly, truly grinds my gears, y'all, is when people don't fucking move on and they continue to stalk your page. They continue to send you messages through text because I've blocked every access that you have to me. But instead of you just moving on with yourself, you choose to continue to stalk my my pages you continue to baby get out you continue to uh thank you you continue to um 
when I block you from being able to contact me, you make up phone numbers, you make up fake pages. And I honestly, it's so hard not to stoop to these demons level and just give them a, a taste of what they've been dishing out. Like it's so hard, <laughs> y'all. It's so hard to not to not stoop to that level of pettiness and returning the energy. Like I'll do my little meditations and then return the energies to sender. You know, whoever sending me negative energies or entities, just get it, send, I'm sending it back to you tenfold. So I do that in meditation whenever I get a chance. And I don't know what's going on in the personal life of these two specific demons that continue to stalk my energy after I didn't block them from all social media platforms except for YouTube because all they're gonna do, like me shutting down my Instagram had this nigga sending me a message in Facebook. So then I had to block him on Facebook only for this demon to to to, to join, to uh, subscribe to my YouTube to the point of him watching my videos and then sending me a message so I forgot to tell you about the message that this idiot sent me. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, you know, it's late. I'm about to get ready for bed. Uh, let me see. Message says, good evening. Just saying congratulations on both ends up there in Maryland. He's probably who knows where on earth on school and manager spot other than they peace and blessings to you and your journey this is the message that he sent to my instagram and my facebook and he's messaged just me before but he just won't stop a text now number or whatever number because i blocked his main number so you still want to continue to send me messages when i have completely totally cut you off energetically and spiritually where you don't have access to my energy anymore but you continue the two demons that i'm talking about continue to stalk me if i like why is it so hard for you to move on especially when both of these demons have fucking children and one of the demons insert picture because this picture is coming um <laughs> one of these demons have multiple children i think up to five so you would think that these demons would spend that much energy that they have creating fake pages and fake profiles and I'm going to keep texting you and, so, and and I'm going to keep bothering you. And I don't care, demon, because I know you're watching. Hello, demon. I'm sure you see your face that I put in this um, this video. Uh, but the two demons, I'm one and both of them just fucking won't go get a goddamn life like if you spend as much time and energy and effort that you have stalking me and to your children then you wouldn't have time to stalk me you wouldn't have time or energy to stalk me because you'll be worrying about your children you will be concerned about your children and their futures and what karma you have bought into their lives you would focus on becoming a better human being instead of walking around being a scammer and a pathological liar you would think that these demons who have children would think about that but they don't these demons aren't 
abducting their children in at night. These demons aren't doing homework with their children. They're not going to uh, school activities or participating. Like when you are a real active parent, you don't have time to stalk people pages and to make up fake pages and fake profiles. But you blocked me though. You blocked me from seeing your fakery and your fuckery, but you continue to stalk me and follow me and, and, and try to get some type of reaction out of me. Hey, demon, Edward, I'm not going to text you back. Hey, demon, Sean, I'm not going to respond to your request or anything. I don't care what family member you talk to, who, what, when, where, why is being said. I don't give a fuck. And the best that both of you could do is move on with your life and leave me the fuck alone. Like, what is it going to take for these demons to back the fuck off and leave me alone? Like, what is it going to take? Because I didn't already put your picture out. Do, do I have to call the police? Do, oh, but the but the, the demon Edward, he doesn't have a regular address because he bounces all around scamming people. So why would you want somebody to have any type of address or location to where you are? Because you don't want to be caught up in, the, in and get and go to jail is what you don't want. You don't want to go to jail, but you keep on doing things to people that will end you up in jail. And if the karma doesn't come directly to you, it trickles down to your children. So you keep bothering people who don't bother you, who don't press you, who don't give a fuck about you. You want to continue to be in their energy. Go find you another toxic ass fucking female to go and deal with. Oh, but they don't want that. Because they're not getting the same type of energy from these toxic females that they get from women like me. If he's ever even, if they ever even ran across anyone that gives the type of energy that I give, which I doubt, because I had to lower my standards for them even to walk in my presence. I had to lower my standards. Neither one of them that I am attracted to, I'm not attracted to neither one of them at all i had to find things and ways to be attracted to you so me lowering my standards because the pick of the litter is so goddamn low that at, at, uh, at some point i end up lowering my standards that's my fault and i take full responsibility and that's why i'm not doing it no more i'd rather just be by myself with my spirituality then have to continue to attract the demons who won't leave me the fuck alone like <laughs> go invest that time in your fucking children your demon spawn that you have bought into this earth go spend that energy doing that cultivating that how about you try to be a good person and stop scamming people and stop lying to people and stop to pretending that you're this spiritually enlightened person sean which you are not all of your information came from me so neither are neither of you should even have been blessed to be in my presence but because i was at where i was where i was always looking for someone to fucking love and love me and being able to exchange that love energy no i attract the fucking demons and it, even i've even attracted good looking demons so it really don't matter how you look to be honest because an ugly demon or an attractive demon is still a fucking demon it don't matter how good they look or how bad they look so i'd rather just not even deal with no one i don't want to deal with no man and i'll just have to suck up whenever the time i feel alone and whenever all them times y'all hear me talking about how i'm how alone i am I'm just going to have to suck it up because this is the season and it's been the season for the past eight years of me attracting fucking demons. 
and these demons that don't know how to fucking walk away and be by themselves so they so they walk around instead of working on themselves they walk around here stalking women stalking their pages making a, i don't have time for that i don't have time to, to stoop that low i don't i have a fucking life so I don't have time to make up fake pages. I don't have time to cast fucking spells on people. I don't have time to do none of that shit because I'm too busy living life and taking care of my own goddamn children that I don't have time to do that. And I care about the karma that will come on to me or go on to my, my children. So because I care, I decide that I'm not going to put that energy into stooping as low as you fucking demon steep so edward stop fucking texting me sean leave me and my family alone and y'all niggas go take care of your children go invest all of that time in the demon spawn you spat on this goddamn earth and tried to put up in me when my uterus was like hell no nigga no no nigga not today i told y'all niggas i'm done having motherfucking kids but y'all niggas stay trying to insist on trying to put a baby up in me knowing damn well that shit ain't gonna work i done told y'all fucking demon spawns before the shit ain't gonna fucking work because my body know what my body need and what my body don't need is a goddamn another demon spawn okay because i'm not about to act, sit up here and act like i ain't already got it I already did that I already made my mistake procreating with fucking demon seeds because I feel like it's more of them out here than it is angels. There's more goddamn demon seeds out here sucking up the life of women than there is angels coming to bless the 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 ones who out here working on themselves, doubt getting into their spirituality, connecting to the divine, and we don't have time for you guys. Like this is the end of the road for you demon seed so i wish you leave me alone and move on with your life and that's all i gotta say about that